Hi, welcome to this video. This is video number nine on new features in Photoshop CS6. And in this video, I'm going to show you on how on new features in video in Photoshop CS6. I've started by opening this video file. This is a video that I've shot earlier today on my mobile phone. It's a free GPP file. I'll show you the two files that I'm going to use. Uh, these two files. It's half a minute and 16 seconds. Okay, they free GPP files. Okay, I've opened one already here. So it appears on, a, on its own layer here in the footage layers panel and appears in the new timeline panel. That timeline panel is new in Photoshop CS6. So I've got a video group. This is the first video. Oh, let me just put it back. Okay, I can play it. It's going to stop it for now. I'll make that bigger. Okay. Now I'm going to import the new one, but I'm going to import it directly into here. I'm going to place it directly into Photoshop. First, I'm going to create a new video group. So it appears on separate in separate group in the timeline panel. So I'm going to click on this icon here and I'll create a new video group. Okay, it's a new video group. A new video group appears in the layers panel as well. I'm going to place the video directly into here. I'm not opening it, I'm placing it directly. This uh, will be this one here. Okay, it will appear exactly in the center. That's fine, I'll accept it. The usual placing, like placing images. So this is the second video. It appears at the position of my a current time indicator, playhead. I'm going to actually swap them because that sh this one should be first. So I'm going to drag this video to the beginning. Oops. Notice something interesting. You can actually move it off the track. This is something new. Now I'm going to move this one further down. Oh, let me just zoom out a bit. Okay, so I'll move this guy here. All right. So this one will come in first, then there comes another one. Now I'd like to have a nice transition here between the first video and the second video. Maybe fade in into black. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this icon here. That's transitions. Also new in Photoshop CS6. I'm going to use fade in with black. I'm just going to click on it and drag it at the end of this video here and I'll just drop it. Okay, so the video will fade to black and I'll drop this transition once again to this video the beginning. Uh, let's see how this works. Oops. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. I'm going to add text at the beginning. I'm going to move the playhead at the beginning. I'm going to add a new video group again. New video group. Okay, so a new video group appears here in the layers panel. And I'm going to add some text here. Video rocks. In Photoshop CS6. Let's just change the space in here. Uh, maybe even more than that. Let's center it. So, right. Let's add a bit more space in. Should be okay. Now, position them here on the stirs. Looks good. We can bold, bold is fine. The text appears here. Now, this will be fading in as well. So I'm going to drop fade with black here at the beginning and to the end. Okay, I'll move this video, let's say to maybe just like that. And this one here as well. You can see how it snaps. So I need to worry about positioning. Now it's a white background in here, so I'm just going to create a new layer in the layers panel. 
I'll make it into a background layer. So layer new background from layer. I'll fill it with black. It's good. Okay. So the text will now fade in. Up here. Okay, looks good. And I'll make one more change here. I'm going to add the transition to the text so it's going to animate. So I'm going to right click on the video or the text and I'll set the motion to zoom and I'll set zoom from the center and I'll set it to zoom in and that's it. Okay, let's try again. And the text is zooming in. Now I can also change the timing duration for effect. Look how cool it is. So I'm going to reduce that. Okay, and I'll test again. Okay, and just to finish this video, because there are so many other options. There's loads of new options for video in Photoshop CS6. I just love these new features. And this is just the beginning, just the tip of the iceberg. Just to finish this video, one more thing. Well, here at the bottom of the timeline panel, you can render the video. So if you click on that, you can render the video. Photoshop CS6 now uses Adobe Media Encoder. Okay. So you can I can render it as H264 or QuickTime. And I can set the quality. You're familiar with these presets from Media Encoder if you've used it before. So, for example, I could export it to YouTube HD 720p, okay, all frames, and I'll just hit render. And that's how you use just the new features in Photoshop CS6 when it comes to video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from saitraining.co.uk and from photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.